Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We will continue on with our Starfield playthrough. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. Let's continue. Hello, Captain. that you tried to slip away without paying your check? I was just going out for some fresh air. I, I even told the bartender. You can ask her yourself. Fresh air, huh? On a planet with no atmosphere. That's enough, stalker. Lower your weapon. We don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding. Sir, please return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, you and I are going to talk about this later. I can't wait. All are welcome at the Red Mile. We don't ask too many questions. I'm really not in the mood. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. We'll find out, won't we? Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. At least you've got a little backbone. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. I'm at a critical point in my investigation, and frankly, your presence here is an unwelcome complication. Now let's just get this over with. Follow me. in my glory, I... <laughs> Nothing quite like the excitement of a run. Ugh, you said you'd be alone. Yeah, well, things changed. Take a seat. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? How are you, dear? Uh, I've got something Is that so? The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? They're choosing only to look the negative. Successful runners like Mr. Reese have earned considerable... Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. Sometimes this is how things work. I understand. Because it might get a little awkward if my sister here had to arrest me.
Well, thanks for the economics lesson, but I think I know my trade. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. My thinking exactly. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. All right. It's your call to make. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you? You're really going to take on the mile, huh? Pardon Things me? are going smoothly, I trust? Ah, a new face. I wonder. Is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Never heard of it. Never heard of it? I won't even ask how that's possible. <laughs> You're in for a treat, then. The Red Mile is the settled system's most exciting sporting event. Brave contestants from all corners of the galaxy come here to try their luck in a deadly race to the finish. Those that survive are celebrated as champions. Those that don't are quickly forgotten. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, Please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? It's no small favor that you're asking. But yes, I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Marco. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. That's what every runner says. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. I'm a little preoccupied, to be honest. Hello. Ugh, it's about Donovan. He keeps adding to his tab, but he hasn't paid any. Oh, whatever you have to say, I don't give a shit. It can get rowdy in here sometimes, but we try to keep things simple. Hope you're enjoying your visit. Your attention, please! Valued patrons and honored guests! For one brave soul, the hour of fate is past. Yes! A runner! to test the Red Mile! Now is your chance to get a good look at our 
fearless challenger as you contemplate your wages. Do you see the fire in those eyes? What is that if not stealing determination? I think you'll agree that we're in for quite a show. The rules are simple. Go through the door and take the elevator down to where the mile begins. Activate the beacon at the base of the tower and see in the distance. Once you've done so, return here alive and your run will be complete. Go now, runner, and see if you can survive the mile!
Okay. Hello. May runs a tidy establishment. If you fancy yourself a red mile runner, just speak to me. Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. I'm not easily impressed. But you've managed to surprise me. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. You'd rather go back to the days when this place was I took this job so I could be here to basis. see all the runners in person. Sure. Of course, the most of them I see only once. You made it. You must be tougher than you look. If it were up to me, I'd fire You're back. Are you okay? Well, it's not up to you. Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated, or you're just that good. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. How could you possibly... Maybe someday I can... Uh, but no. No. Now isn't the time. We need to focus on the task at hand. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. I'll go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. I had a feeling about you. <clears throat> Look at that. You still got all your limbs. Time for me to keep my promise, runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting for you. Is in the back. This music is going to put me to sleep. Ah, the dulcet tones of classical piano. It really puts the soul at ease. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger.
That's right. Major Hall spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. To settle accounts, Major Hall served with distinction during the Colony War. But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turn on him. In his eyes, the Rangers are enforcers for a corrupt council of governors. That makes you his enemy. As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. I prefer to focus on the future. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who will kill you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know. But you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other Rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? Whatever road brought you here, your journey ends today.
Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then BOOM! Down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because, let me tell you, I am so close. Who, me? Without you? Not a chance, deputy. I knew you were a natural the moment I laid eyes on you. Come in, deputy. Take a seat. This won't take long. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. It's worse. It's tragic. How's your investigation proceeding? That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you. And there are some things I want to go over. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival, and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. Duty has to come before personal feelings. I'm glad you understand that. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you met an informant who asked for your help, but you talked him out of it. Use you? <laughs> the way I hear it, he was fearing for his life and looking for help. You don't get to ignore your duty when it's inconvenient. Of course, I can understand that. But even so, you deserve some recognition for your compassion and generosity. Thank you. You got results, and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Putting the lives of others ahead of our own comes with the job. I'm sure it was a tough call, but I think it was the right one. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. Too bad. I was really hoping he'd cooperate. Guess the threat of going back to prison was just too much for him. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. The facility was on Arcturus too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. If the Marshal's right, you could encounter serious resistance. Be prepared. All right, everyone, this concludes this particular episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all in the next one.
Later.